Brian, we talked late last night, and one of the things you expressed to me was your concern that Michael may have been abusing prescription drugs. Do you stand by that this morning? Oh, yes, I do, Harry. I had warned everyone that I could warn, and I told them that one day if Michael Jackson is going to wake up dead, which is a, a very odd way of putting it, but uh, the way I was trying to say it, I was going to speak out and say that this is not right, that uh, he has not been cared for properly, and that the people around him should recognize that they never, never should have permitted such a thing to happen. Do you believe people around him were enabling him, were literally helping, along, helping him along in this process? I do not want to point fingers at anyone because I want to hear what the toxicology report says and what the coroner's report says. But the plain fact of the matter was is that Michael Jackson had prescription drugs at his disposal at all times and that he was using them. He was in pain, so he had his reasons for using them. Uh, he had broken the vertebrae in his back. He had also broken his leg when he fell off of a stage and fell about 40 feet mm. to the ground. But the bottom line was that he was under the influence of prescription medications mm. for most of the time, and it was dangerous, and I warned that it was dangerous, and all of the warnings went unheeded.